Hey, Loic. <laughs> so you just came in the front door. This will be the reception area. There'll be a reception desk. That glass thing is going to be a big Twit logo with a gear around it. So that's the new, the so new Twit Studios. This is. Oh, I didn't say. <laughs> Where am no. I? I'm in the new Twit Studio. This we call it the the Brick Twit House. And um, actually, this will be brick. We're gonna we're gonna start selling bricks. People will be able to buy a brick with their name on it. It'll go all the way around <laughs> the side of the conference rooms there. But let me. So you'll come in the door of the receptionist and say, "Oh, hi, Loic. Go on in," and she'll buzz you in. So this is into the studio space. Wow, here. that's real stuff here. <laughs> well, security first. So. Um, this is this is professional. Well. <laughs> we'll we'll you will look like a TV. It's gonna look like a TV It'll show now. Like well, what exactly. I want it to look like is not so much a TV studio as a, a cool working office that happens to have cameras and lights everywhere, so we can always show you what we're doing. And in fact, one of the things we did is we we've opened up these storefront windows so that people can walk by and see, it oh. so they can see what we're doing. So they'll always be able to. See and you'll have a public as well here. Yeah, of course, people can come in and join us as they always. Wow. So um, there are... And like uh, anyone, for every show, you'll get them in? And oh, yeah. Oh. And the thing is, there's plenty of space. We'll have to move it around. For instance, iPad today and mostly photo will be here. This will be more, more of a living room set. Restoration hardware is going to be giving us furniture. So this will be a very cool kind of living room area. So if you come to watch this, you'll sit here. The cameras will be there. Twit, when you do Twit, Loic, there'll be a round table in that corner there. That'll be for the round table show. Okay. Back break weekly, this week in tech, this week in Google will be in the round table area there. This is so exciting. And there'll be fixed cameras. Unlike a regular TV studio where you have cameras on pedestals moving around, there'll be cameras that would buy everywhere. 20 cameras. 20. Cameras everywhere. <laughs> so everything will always be on. Lights will always be on. And we can very quickly switch from set to set. The director will sit here. We're building a station that he can rotate. So he can sit here when the show's here. He can sit here when the show's there. He can sit there when the show's there. And, and, so and you'll have screens with Twitter walls and everything everywhere, Probably, I guess? Probably, yeah. We'll have all sorts of stuff going on. So that on. I mean, you can uh, follow what's happening with the community. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This will be a little single set for demoing and solo stuff. This is a newsroom where the bricks are. Wow. Um, we'll oh, so I can get bricks from that wall? No, not, not from no, this wall. No, that wall's <laughs> already done. You'll have to be that wall out there. This is, this is where um, t Tech News Today, Tom Merritt, Sarah Lane, I as Akhtar will, and Jason Howell will have their office there, but it's also a newsroom that can go live at any so, moment. But wait, how many people will you have walking here? Well, we currently have 15 people, so um, uh, there'll be, uh, this this middle part will have desks for producers and staff. Um, I will be, this is going to be my office here, this last in this area. Dress, yeah. And so that's going to take the existing Twit Studio is going to be reconstructed inside of that. That's how big the existing Twit Studio is, yeah. and is this little corner, so that's going to become my studio and, and office. Do you and, and do you have any investors or you finance all that yourself? It's all all yourself. My, you don't want any investors. See this? That's what's <laughs> left. You're, you're right, That's Leo. I mean, left, investors, Louis. you know, if you can avoid it, it's better, right? Well, you know, we looked at different ways of funding it. In fact, Neil Dash wrote a great article about where you can get money. And he mentions investors, but he also says banks, community, and various places. And I think we've used a lot of those places. Advertisers, of course, are critical to our operation. We get about $4 million in ad revenue every year. Wow. That's going to go to six or eight next year. Um, wow. Community has been very generous. That's why we're putting the bricks in so they can buy bricks and, and help us out. Uh, and then, believe it or not, we were able to get a loan. So uh, we have a construction loan to do. Uh, this. Well, you have revenue for a few years now. So yeah. I guess your bank would get reassured. The, we, we have a small local bank, Exchange Bank. And I made the decision to go with a local bank because I wanted to keep our money in the community. And now it's paid off for us because they know us. And because they're local, they trust us. And they sense that yeah. it, it's not a tech startup exactly. It's right. not a risky thing. Um, there is revenue already. There's revenue. There's a solid record of revenue. So It's too bad. I would have loved to invest. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? So you don't take any investors. So far, no investors. <laughs> Do you and so how many shows in there, uh, Leo? Currently, we do about 20 shows. Uh, yeah. This will mean that we can do more shows. And uh, my goal, which is to go 24 hours a day. Because oh yeah. I would really wow. like this to be. Think of this as CNN for tech. Wow. So it's always happening. There's always people. There's always a newsroom. So when there's breaking news, we can go to the newsroom. There's always something going on. So you're kind of always uh, able to tune in at any time of the day or night. And there'll be people here doing stuff you're interested in. Can I have my show in there? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. I'd not. love to come and play. You, you absolutely should come here. 
Yeah, it's not, it's not, you know, I don't know, I could do a little the web here or something. The web, the web, the web monthly or something. Yeah, I would love you to do a show about startups, entrepreneurs. But I'm just totally, totally, I didn't prepare this with Leo at all. I'm just like totally. Wouldn't that be fun? It would be fun. Yeah. So one well, of the come from now and then, use all your gear and so I on. I used to do a show And then you can sell tons of advertising for me. Exactly, and right? you'll be a rich man. Right, and I'll do only that. This is the better way to do it. <laughs> Forget these startups. So uh, <laughs> these rings here are, um, but there'll be three of them. There'll be one more here, kind of arches. They're going to be cut off a little bit, but lights can hang from there. But also it's going to, it's going to unify this in kind of a, a tunnel coming down the middle here. And does it take you to, to the past as well? Yes, it's a time. It's a, it's it's a, a time machine. Gate. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, it's funny because that's what everybody says, and it does feel like that. It does totally feel like Back to the Future. In a way, there's time travel here because the guy who designed this is the same guy who did the old screensavers uh, set, and I think people who watch the screensavers will recognize little pieces of the screensavers show and the design there. For instance, we painted. You know, screensavers had this red door in the back of the set that we would come through. We've painted this door, and we're, going to, and we're going to treat it to look like that red door. This will be a porthole. That's going to slide across here and on the other side. Um, editors will be working here. We have edit stations. You know, it's a big facility, though. I mean, if I take wow. the rest of it, there's a lot more going on. You see, we're, we're lighting it back here to glow out and so forth. And so what are you building here, Leo, apart from the walls? And so, wow, that's a kitchen? This is the kitchen. Oh, um, that's a big kitchen. There's a lot of space. I'll no, but I mean, you're building something you want to sell for 20 million or 50 million in a few years? Or you is know, it like more like this is, you know, something you want to I'm build for 20 more years? The reason I started doing this in the first place was I wanted to be able to do the kinds of uh, shows that I like and not have to ask permission, yeah. not have to explain it. I want to be able to cover technology. The problem with covering technology for existing mainstream media is they don't like it, they don't get it, yeah. they think it's foreign they language They edit you too much. They don't they, like it. Yeah. So I knew that there was an audience, a hardcore tech audience, and I wanted to do what I wanted to do for them. So this all started, and it's all been bootstrapped bit by bit, yeah. by doing that. And so... My goal isn't to build something to sell. It never was. It was yeah. to build something that I could work. It never works anyway. Enjoy. You think that it never yeah. works. Now, I, you know, I, I suppose at some point I'll have to retire. I don't know at that point what will happen. But for now, I'm just building a, a playhouse for myself. Oh wow, green screen. Okay. So this cool. is a big. This is a, Alex Lindsay, who uh, works at the Pixel Corp, is taking some of this space, and he's going to have a. This is a giant green screen cove where your standing is going to be a motion capture studio with 27 cameras. So you could wow. create 3D objects and so forth. Uh, this is he's subletting this from. This us. is super exciting. Isn't that exciting. Yeah. Let me show you. We're starting. I'm so to excited for stuff. you. You're like a kid with all your toys. <laughs> no. Always basically, but oh, here we go. Here are the toys. Yeah. Actually. toys. Yeah. So uh, Roger <laughs> is collecting antique uh, technology <laughs> to dress the set with. So all over the set we'll have antique technology. I told him I wanted to be like Captain Nemo's submarine in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This is so cool. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Yeah, so it's incredible. It's just it's a lot of uh, it's it's kind of a dream come true. So um, within within two months, how many how many people you think you're reaching with all your shows and with tweet? Last year we had 55 million downloads. Uh, we do about five million a month uh, now. Um, and how many members of a community? Like, do you count like this as well? well we don't count members. We don't have a sign up process yeah. or count. But I would say that there are some. Are you going to do it? Uh, what, one of the you things should. we're looking at, yeah, maybe. One of the things we're looking at is having a high-quality, high-def stream as a paid um, service. Oh, cool. So, and uh, maybe a private chat room and, a, and some private access and so forth. It's something we're looking at, you know. Um, okay. Maybe. Right now, we don't really keep track. It's the reach that in broadcasting they call it the reach, which is the, it's kind of the same as yeah, uniques. Yeah. The reach is somewhere between half a million and a million a month. Wow. We don't know exactly. Very Those impressive. Those are uniques. Um, but it's not a lot compared to, you know, Dig, which is 27 million uniques. Yeah. It's a small group. That, to me, is good. It means there's a lot of room for growth. I think, in, in my mind, I think of this as the, kind of a next generation CNN. You know, when CNN first started, they, it was small and they, they lost money, but they figured out ways to do it cheaply and grow. And I think, you know, 10 years from now, you might look back and you might see this studio and you might say, yeah, that's where... Kind of the CNN for tech. Yeah, you're going to have you're going to have a five-story building and. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, for I now, you... this is huge. It's huge. I can't believe Coming it. Coming from, from yeah, there, yeah. This is a big jump. Well, I guess the other studio has been documented enough. <laughs> yeah, it's time for a new studio. Congratulations, Leo. It's super exciting. I, I can't wait to come back. And yeah, if I can play in there myself a little bit, I would love to. You got a show. It's very cool. Deal. Yes, and you have to come back to the web too. Okay, thanks, Louis. Thanks, Leo.